All right, folks, welcome back. This is our first full, semi-full week of class here. You don't have school on Friday for Good Friday, and you have Monday, actually, after Easter off as well. But we're going to get started with a project um, that will walk us through this uh, quarantine that we are all in. And um, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a, a preview of what that looks like uh, to clarify any questions and feel free to email me if you do have more questions uh, but this is just a quick update uh, you guys that have turned in your assignment from last week awesome job uh, they're so cool and I love seeing those up in your windows and in the, um, the spaces that you put those in for people to enjoy and see and be encouraged by so good job with that one um, so let's take a look here and see what we've got for this week and then those of you that um, would like some other opportunities I'm gonna gonna go back and, and talk about some of those things that we shared out before we started with our official remote learning uh, so let's take a look here um, so quarantine sketchbook it's a kind of like a, a, a culminating project here where each week new sketch prompts will be pushed out and you'll uh, use whatever means necessary to complete those if you've got good old pencil and paper um, that works great uh, if you've got digital means you can do things digitally on the computer um, and then if you have other materials markers just like what we did with our uh, kindness poster project uh, you can use anything that you can find around the house for this now I am going to be putting out a video for um, a homemade sketchbook got one down here uh, so you can kind of see what the binding looks like on this here um, however uh, it won't be that same stitch it's going to be what we call a Japanese stitch or Japanese book binding stitch um, but be, be on the lookout for that video and that's going to be literally made out of things that you can find in and, in and around your house um, so three sketchbook prompts this week and then each week more prompts will come out um, but there's a good quote here by Nina Simone uh, it says, it is an artist's duty to reflect on the time in which we live. Um, coronavirus literally is going to be in the history books. Um, and your artwork will be artifact. Um, and so the things that you make today will uh, inform, you know, future generations of what you guys experienced in this time so you guys are like we said um, in an unprecedented time here it'll be really cool for you guys to document that um, experience that you are uh, going through um, and just just to uh, give a shout out here this is a lesson that a lot of other high school students are going to be doing as well and I'm referencing uh, Mrs. Moen out of Western High School and so shout out to, to you and your your art kids um, we're, we're uh, happy to join you on this journey um, so first couple sketchbook prompts for this week uh, you're gonna do a nature walk this could be around your house um, in your backyard if you if you want to take a, a proper social distancing or practice proper social distancing and go around the neighborhood you can do that as well um, find some from some objects from around the neighborhood or, or house um, that are organic and do some sketches of those. Do some, uh, you know, contour line drawings of those, and you can see some examples on the, the PDF that's going to be attached. Uh, the next one is a found poetry collage. So literally fragmenting, um, you know, newspaper clippings, magazine um, articles, anything where you can find words, and you can even sketch, doodle, and design your own um, imagery around around that as well. But a little. Um, Kind of a mood poem reflecting how you feel that day and then the last one is just a really simple self-portrait um, and so there's some examples that you can follow along with there on that so that's this week and really you have all the way up until tuesday april 14th to tackle these uh, sketchbook prompts um, so take a look at those pdfs now i do want to say um, you guys did a great job of uploading those if you have trouble feel free to just email images as well and if you aren't able to do either of those things just make sure you hold on to these so that you can physically turn them in when we are all back together uh, so refresher kindness poster there are a few of you guys out there that haven't done that yet make sure you go back and, and look at assignment number one for um, remote learning uh, that one's out there as well and then 
those of you guys that are up for a challenge this month, um, there's a, a challenge by the Warrior Painters. They're out of LA and uh, they are doing a daily painting uh, of one of these prompts here. So uh, like a dream travel destination, your favorite national park, and you can find images on Google Maps. That's what I've been doing. Um, and then uh, favorite local business, and then even a view from your, your window. Uh, those are uh, literally quick, sketchy paintings. Now, you don't have to spend a lot of time on these, but it's to get you painting daily. And uh, there's a lot of uh, awesome sponsors this month. Uh, Blick Art Materials, Windsor & Newton, and Cottonwood Arts. Um, they're all sponsoring this, so they'll be awarding prizes to those that complete the 30-day challenge. And they've extended the start date uh, to uh, the whole first week. So you've got today, tomorrow to get into um, this challenge and then just make sure that you are uh, finishing at least 30 paintings by the end of the month. It's a lot, but it would be a fun challenge for some of you guys that are, are up to it. Uh, but that one's up there on the website as well. And then remember, some of you guys already did some of these um, bingo cards, um, or have been doing that. There's prizes uh, gonna be awarded for that one, or chances to win a prize for this one too. So try to get a bingo from those cards. And then there's that checklist as well. All that stuff is on the Google Classroom. Uh, this one is under the e-learning tab and uh, your kindness poster and uh, our current project will be under the remote learning tab. So feel free to email me any questions and uh, looking forward to seeing this awesome artwork that you guys are gonna be putting together. Thanks, bye.